in the Donbas, the Lugansk People's Republic faces the challenge of reconstruction following the recent expulsion of all Ukrainian forces from its territory. Our special envoy, Alejandro Kirk, has more details. This coal mine has been in operation since 1981 in Soviet times. It is one of the main sources of energy for Lugansk and the entire Donbass. The technological and production challenge it faces is enormous. This is, I'm not afraid of the word, a very glorious enterprise. The mine was commissioned in 1981, and during its operation more than 45 million tons of anthracite coal of the highest quality were extracted. It is a city-forming company, as well as a functional one. So we still have work and work to do, shall we say, on the more modest side. According to our most modest projections, we can work at a million or a million and a half tons a year for another 40 years. With the exceptional situation, we reorganized part of the mines. The unprofitable ones were closed. The workers were transferred to more profitable mines. As of today, I can tell you the figures for last year. As of 2020, the Republic has produced about 7 million tons of coal in total. Nearly half of the workers are on the front lines. The mine is operating at a half capacity. Workers' hands are in charge of restoring and keeping afloat the outdated productive machinery. Times are difficult. The supply of coal is not very good at the moment. That's why we are manufacturing with our own resources. We're doing repairs here. At the moment, I'm treating this machine. I'm going to cut six teeth off the gear. It will end up in our forge to be installed directly by the assemblers on the machine to work in the mine. Coal is the main source of electricity generation on the planet and its production has not stopped growing in the last 20 years. Alejandro Kirk, Telesur, Lugansk People's Republic.